Good day, guys. It's Jari here, and today I thought I'd kind of give you like an, a halfway through the year 26, 2016. Wow, 2018 kind of like life update in effect. So, a lot has been happening throughout the year, um, whether it's been with me physical stuff, emotional stuff, mental stuff, just other things. Like, as you can tell, I semi dyed semi permanent dyed my hair like this cool kind of like a purpley red color or if you want to be precise a rich what's called a rich burgundy <laughs> sorry brain wasn't functioning a rich burgundy so I used three packets of rich burgundy and one packet of red anyway that was in a vlog you guys could have watched before so another thing as well that's happening obviously I am currently going through year 12 I am halfway through year 12 and boy has it been a roller coaster there's a lot of stress I never thought I've experienced until now there's a lot of like deadlines and stuff like that, that I've never experienced and it's quite a an interesting journey and it's kind of helped me to realize that balance is a thing I'm needing to still find and still learn how to do. On top of year 12, I am currently doing a Cert 3 in Basic Health. So that's going well. I have about three to four weeks left to go on that. So that's really exciting. Um, I just got heaps of paperwork and stuff that left to do on that. There's a noise going on. Um, what else? St. John is still obviously a thing in my life and it hopefully will be for a while, but stress has kind of gone a bit wavy on that per se um, I have said this in the beginning of the year that this year my goal is to have a positive mental attitude aka PMA which is a huge kind of mission of mine that I've wanted to have for a while whereas I want to focus on my mental health my mental well-being and just focus on my mental stuff because that's usually the part that gets neglected or forgot about and everyone's too busy focusing on their fitness and their you know they're eating right and all of this stuff and not a really I want to focus on that this is good not just everything else so in all the people I keep staring at it's frustrating me um, <laughs> on top of keeping my mental health at a semi good balance I have been eating a lot healthier this year on top of that I've started running and by running I mean I might take you guys one time and show you like my routine or whatever even though it's not a routine basically I was discussing with a friend who I call brother so shout out to you brother <laughs> um, basically I was chatting to him and saying how I wanted to make myself fitter and happier and I wanted to be more proud of my body and who I am because I'm sick and tired of hating the way I look and hating the way I am and it frustrates me when people are like oh but you're still beautiful I'm like I didn't say I wasn't beautiful I just said I don't like the way my body looks which is frustrating in that whole sense I'm gonna talk about that in a later video but what I started to do now is started once a week I would run out of my driveway go down to the park where there's a pond run around the park so far i had to take two breaks so like run then walk then run then walk then run so i'd like my ch goal for this year is to be able to run the entire park or close to the entire park without having to stop that would be my G like that would be my unbelievable fitness goal but I'm don't think that's gonna happen if I can get to just doing one stop then that will be great so once I finish that run around I then go to like this exercise machine equipment and I do about 20 reps of those or 10 depending on what it is and then I run back home so that I've been kind of focusing on that type of fitness and I've 
you're probably wondering how do you you know work on your PMA how do you work on your positive mental attitude and all that stuff so throughout my life I've always kept how I felt and my mental stuff kind of hidden I refused to talk about it to anyone or let people know what was going on and that's not a good thing to do so this year I have decided to kind of break down a wall of my own or remove a mask and show people my more vulnerable side instead of showing them this strong side all the time I'm trying to show them more of my weaker side and it's definitely a struggle for me because I want to keep building up this persona of I'm a strong capable woman who will take over the world who's a badass who has her shit together who knows what they're doing you know the stereotypical like Wonder Woman-esque character I want to be able to portray her I want to be like you know like yeah I'm happy I'm awesome I'm you know a leader I can do this and that when in reality it's not me all the time in reality I have my days where I'm down and not feeling great all the time you know I'm feeling sad and I want to let people know but I used to just not tell anyone because I'm like oh there's no point in me telling people how I'm upset when they're probably going through something worse now I do let people know and it does make a difference because I am starting to have more trust in people and realize that maybe the walls I have up in my heart they don't need to be there anymore those safety walls of must protect myself so I don't get hurt maybe don't, they don't they don't need to be there anymore maybe we'll see I will guess I'll keep you guys on track with that but going back to fitness I've definitely lost some weight so that's a positive um because I used to have these pants that didn't fit me because I was too big for them and now I fit into them and there's room like room so that's exciting for me like I ran I was like look mum I lost weight and I was like showing up and she's like cool like I don't really care but sure um, but to me that was the most exciting thing in the world I have an amazing friend who I've kind of connected more and more with and I call him brother um, because he's like my little brother I never had and it's really nice another thing that I said I wanted to do this year was pretty much tell my friends how much they mean to me and I'm definitely doing that and I want to keep doing that so I do it in little ways here and there but I don't 100% know how to do it all the time I do it in ways to me it shows how much they mean to me but to them it probably doesn't mean as much so I'm still like I still send people random messages be like hey you're great I hope you have a great day or you know I believe in you and stuff like that and so that's I'm still trying to boost up my friends more but I'm still trying to boost myself up at the same time so that's still a work in progress but yeah I'm just trying to think of what else has changed really nothing has really changed other than like having barely any time to myself like I'm out almost every single night not because I'm partying woo woo um because I'm doing things whether it's St. John's or St. John's <laughs> or I'm working at Adelaide Oval now which is amazing I've been working there for a couple of months and I love it but I'll show you my desk maybe a bit later probably not because it's really messy but there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done and I'm still trying to find that balance because I would come home every night and go straight into work. You know, come down for dinner, go straight back up to work. Because I'm trying to do so many things at once. Whereas, you know, I don't really see my parents that much. And as much as it pains me that I don't get to spend all this time with them, I'm still, you know, trying to do all this work and so they can be proud of me. But not spending time with them so I'm trying to find that balance and I would love to spend you know a weekend with my friends and just be like hey 
let's have no stress, no worries. What about just you and I, let's go to the beach together. And, you know, we'll look at the stars at night and have a great time and not be like, oh, can't, sorry, working, or oh, can't, you know, got a deadline due, or I have an assignment that I haven't even started, or all of these things. I just want someone to be like, you know, let's go here, let's go, let's just go, <laughs> you know? I don't want it to be like, oh, let's schedule it into my little book. Or right now I'm scheduling everything into my calendar where I hate that. I hate having to schedule things in. I can't just be like, yeah, sure, let's do this. It's it's weird to me. Because, you know, before year 12, I'd be like, oh, let's just do this. I don't have anything on, nor do I ever have anything on. Now it's like, oh, hold on, I have, you know, this is on or this is on or I'm working in or like, there's so many things to schedule in. So that's definitely weird in that retrospect. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of all. This is a weird update 2018 vlog type of thing. Sorry, <laughs> but that's just what it is. I guess I could talk about a bit about the channels. So. Gaming channel is going well. The main channel isn't going great. It's kind of been like stagnant, which is all right. You know, I like I said, I don't put out videos for the views. I put it out for my fun because I love making videos and I love doing different things and I love just having random things on there. And that's why that channel is just whatever there isn't a set on oh, Mondays you'll get this and Tuesdays you'll get this and Wednesdays you'll get that it's just hey look you gain them on Saturdays maybe and you'll get videos on whatever I want to film and that's great I love that that's my creative flow whereas the gaming channel yes it's consistent you know you're getting a gaming video but like I can choose different games and that's fun and I love having like the mini like the series we've been having which is you like your dream daddy, for example, to seduce me, the otome, which makes it sound like my gaming channel is all about love, and it's not. But that's what I've been playing lately. Hmm. <laughs> I was saying it's like Monster Prom, but that's not helping. Um, I've got some other games that I want to record, so hopefully that should be all good. And I want to be able to have a better recording for that so I want to use this camera that I currently am using right now which is the Canon SX730HS to record my gameplay videos but I need to get a cord to do that and once I find a HDMI to HDMI cord or a HDMI to USB cord boy we're going to be good we're going to have some good quality videos but until then Jack, yes, in the next video. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Woo! I mean, I'm just sitting in my bedroom, but like, there's lighting though. Hello, sunlight. Where have you been, in my life? Also, it is winter, and we have a great weather. What? Yes.